Within this video, I'll be going over the relationship between the head and the torso. This first section consists of the head and the neck. This section ranges from the top of the head all the way down to the collar. If you'd like to know how to draw this section, please check out last week's video on how to draw simple heads. Within this section, we'll be going over on how to draw a simplified torso. A torso consists of a rib cage, a spine, and a pelvis. First step, I like to divide the section in half. The top half takes up the rib cage, and the bottom half takes up the spine and the pelvis. Within the bottom half, the pelvis takes up two thirds of the section, and the remaining third, the spine. Now that we know about our two groups, the head section and the torso, I'll demonstrate how these two groups can vary in sizes. After mapping out the head section and the torso, we can dictate that both the torso and the head section take up the same amount of space. When we break down the torso, we notice that it takes up twice the amount of space as the head section. You can also say the head section is half the size of the torso. When viewing the two figures from afar, we can tell that they follow different kinds of rules. For the figure on the left, it follows a one-to-one -one ratio the head section and the torso are the same. For the figure on the right, the head section is half the size of the torso.